Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Roman. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to pull a frame at home. Stick around. Hello guys, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Roman and I'm on a journey to rebuild 2018 Tesla Model 3. In a previous video, I secured this car to the trailer. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. In this video, I'm gonna straighten the frame. Since I don't have uh, inner structure specs, I have to rely on new parts. So I pre-assembled these new parts on the front so I can take my measurements. Now that I got my measurements, uh, let's take them off and uh, get to actual pulling. There are no visible damages on actual inner structure past this point right here. But still, the, the whole front end is shifted at 3 eighths of an inch, which is not really a big deal. I could get away with just assembling the front end uh, because the, the front end is designed really well in my opinion. Um, it's got a lot of room for adjustment, but um, I'm concerned that there is a possibility that I'm gonna have an alignment issue once everything is assembled. So I'd rather get this uh, done and get past to the next uh, stage. To get my measurements, I have this uh, wonder tool that I made uh, a few years ago and uh, it's not the best looking, but it's, uh, it definitely does the job. Since I'm working alone, I'm gonna take these two nuts, two exactly same nuts, and I'm gonna use a glue gun to, uh, just to glue this uh, temporarily uh, to these corners. Uh, that way I can just put my tool into this uh, uh, nut and easily uh, align the other side. Okay, so uh, what I have right here is, uh, is a tool which uh, I call it Porta Power. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just simply gonna wrap around it Like so, I'm gonna attach the other end of the of my chain to the hook that uh, that I made in the last video. Basically, this is what I'm trying to achieve. This angle right here. Let's hook it up. Sometimes this happens. Okay, I see what's going on. That failed. Well, let's try something else. I think I'm gonna add a uh, jack underneath that plate with the hook that we made um, to make sure that it's not gonna rip those bottom two bolts out. Let me just do that.
we're almost there. Yes, the upper measurement is spot on. Well guys, there you have it. Frame is straight, project is complete as far as pulling the frame. Now we're gonna go to the next step. We're gonna assemble, then we're gonna paint and so on. A um, Couple of tips I'd like to leave you guys with. Uh, if you do a same project and if your damage is more severe than mine, I would suggest hooking up the passenger side of the car to the trailer to avoid that raise, uh, it, as you've seen in the video, once I started pulling, the car was lifting up and uh, I could afford it because uh, mine damage was uh, pretty minor. I, I just had to go three eighths of an inch. Um, so I didn't have to hook it up. But if you do the same project and uh, if your damage is more severe, I would suggest uh, hook up the passenger side to the trailer to avoid that raise. Um, another thing, if your damage is more severe, I would suggest doing uh, frame rails individually. Don't, don't pull the whole front end like I did. Um, just uh, disconnect the subframe, disconnect the... Uh, there is a bar, a stabilizer bar, uh, goes from one uh, strut tower to another. Disconnect that bar as well and do, do them individually. And just, just take your time, uh, little by little, take measurements and you'll be able to do it. Um, what? No, no, no. Keep, keep you going. You got something to say? No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just watching. Okay. Well, if you guys have a comment or suggestion, uh, please leave it in a comment below. And if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like yeah. and subscribe.